So this is a very nice little uh, way to stretch out your groin. If you're doing this sitting away from a wall, you'll have to use all of your abdominals, all of your kind of trunk muscles to pull yourself and keep yourself forwards or your arms. That will take away from a little bit of how much you can relax through the groin. So I like to have people do a sit back against the wall, pull the feet in nice and tight. And then you can use your hands around your ankles and your elbows to then lever yourself down into a nice big deep groin stretch. Similarly, if you wanted to work on it a little bit more intensely, you can spread out into a pancake stretch. And again, the fact that your torso is supported against the wall means that you don't have to be pulling forwards into this space if you're not ready for that yet. So then it's turn the feet and knees outwards. And what I want you to think about is you obviously can't maybe lean forwards. You don't have the strength or the control yet, but I want you to see, can you push your lumbar spine and your belly button towards the camera in this case or forwards? If you can keep your knees turned out, knees straight, and then roll that forwards towards the camera, you should get a nice deep groin stretch here. And obviously you can go further and further and wider and wider as you get better with it. So spend a bit of time here. If you're looking to open up tissue extensibility here, I recommend um, a little bit longer than a sta standard stretch. I would probably look towards the two to three to four minute mark here um, to open up through all those tissues, okay? So two variations, one like this. Again, two, three, four minutes would be nice here as well, or the wider variation, okay?